path to a sustainable civilization. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 400. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. One Community, if you're not familiar with it, we are bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability as a pathway, as a path to a sustainable civilization, which is today's topic. I want to talk about a path to sustainable civilization, which if you wonder what that looks like, visit our website. Visit our website. The path that we see to a sustainable civilization is an open source sustainable civilization model. It's an open source sustainability model that includes all the foundations of a sustainable civilization, which we have identified as the physical foundations of sustainability, food, energy, and housing combined with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good approaches to what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good education, highest good economic models, as well as truer stewardship. Putting all that together to create a way of life that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now and demonstrating is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that it spreads on its own. Creating that path to a sustainable civilization by making sustainability mainstream because we can show that it better meets the needs of people than the way that they're living right now. That they have more free time and things to do with that free time. That they can free themselves from you know, the rat race, from traditional job models and things of that nature, and instead make their very lifestyle, the way that they live, a commodity worth sharing. And this is what one community will do as the prototype. This is why 30% of everything that we're creating is designed to host visitors as an ecotourism destination. So what you're seeing happening in the background here is not just open source. It's a place that you'll be able to come and stay and experience it. So you don't have to take our word for it. You'll be able to come and see what living this way is like. Be able to share in the different social and recreational activities and see how we're putting it all together and what a day in the life of one community is firsthand. Now, if you look at that, you go, what? I don't want to live that way. This is crazy. Too many people. It's not a privacy or whatever your reasons might be for not liking it. And the homes are too small. Who knows? That's okay. It's all open source and free share so that you can do it differently. You know, you take the models and build yourself a six-bedroom house if that's what you want. You know, and it'll be a house that will last longer than a traditional house, won't be filled with toxins that are linked to cancer. You know, you can build your, you can grow yourself, just grow yourself food. You don't have to collaboratively and cooperatively grow, grow food as a group. Although doing that is a lot more efficient because two or three people can grow enough food for, you know, 20 or 30 people versus one person still has to grow enough food for one person. And that takes a lot of time and energy. So we're showing all this model, our path to sustainable civilization is built on a sustainable foundation and infrastructure, but it's also built on a collaborative and cooperative model showing that we can accomplish more together than we do apart. And so that's what we're up to. And everything you see in the background of this video is a part of that building the seven sustainable villages so that we can demonstrate each of the primary sustainability methods as an option. So we can provide an option for people anywhere in the world, depending on what resources are available to you, you know, and where your strengths are. Maybe it's labor, so it's earth bag village, or maybe, you know, you're close to industry. And so it might be a shipping container village because shipping containers are ready, readily available, or maybe it's neither of those things. And so an earth block village is the way to go, you know, or a cob village, or maybe a recycled materials village, you know, so we want to share all of those different things. So our path to sustainable living is really many paths converging on one goal. And that goal is a sustainable civilization and creating that within our lifetime. And so if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough and truly create a viral self-replicating model, well, if it really becomes self-replicating, then we can involve every single person on the planet within 30 years. You know, one village... One community inspires two more the next year, 
and then it expires four, inspires four more the year after that, and then eight the year after that, and 16 after that. And now we're showing how to create communities by retrofitting urban areas and cities. And so now you have you know, 16, 32, 64, so on and so forth. You, know, you can involve every single person on the planet within 30 years with a model like that, with enough attention and people saying like, wow, yeah, cooperation, collaboration is way better than competition. Look at the life I can live. You know, look at the college bills I don't have to have. Look at the job and the commute I no longer have to experience. Look at the quality of the food that's no longer grown with poison. You know, it no longer has pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. And growing it is actually helping support bee populations and helping rejuvenate the ecosystems and bringing and elevating the environment, regenerating the environment instead of destroying it. Look at these communities that fully process all of their waste and are not just carbon neutral, but carbon negative, you know, that are not producing any waste, that are reducing packaging just through the way that we live, but taking all that packaging and everything that we are getting and repurposing and being able to recycle and repurpose everything that we produce, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment. And if it provides a way of living that's better than the way that people are living right now, we think that that idea will spread on its own. We know the idea will spread on its own. And we can create a sustainable world within our lifetime. We can reach that tipping point, not of every single person participating, that would be amazing, but of just enough people participating so that everybody is positively impacted and so that everybody who wants to participate can. And so that there's something provided for everyone, even if they don't want to participate. Maybe it's housing plans or maybe it's some open source you know, garden component or the education program or an education model, or sorry, an economics model, some aspect, a fulfilled living component where communities are getting together and sharing that way. This is what we want to provide. This is what we're doing. This is our path to a sustainable civilization. Everybody is invited to participate. So if you like these ideas and want to support us, subscribe, like our video, watch for another couple of minutes, check out you know the bullet points, a little bit more details about uh, what it is that we're creating, and just know that we're going to keep on keeping on. Specifically, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.